When we talk about Maine's affordable housing crisis, it seems like there's no easy solutions to that. Yeah, it takes time and money to build homes, but a first of its kind neighborhood being planned for Maine could be a model for cheaper, faster housing. Sam Olson joins us with more about this 3D printed innovation. This is mind blowing, Sam. Mm. Yeah, hi Sharon and Hannah. Maine Housing, UMaine and Penquist are working together to develop an entire neighborhood made up of 3D printed homes using what UMaine is calling the Biohome 3D technology. The university revealed the first Biohome 3D house a couple of months ago as the first step in this larger project. The pilot neighborhood will house people experiencing homelessness, but leaders say it could lead to a larger solution for the state's housing crisis. Penquist's housing development director Jason Bird says Maine is in need of about 50,000 housing units. He says in the years to come, 3D printing can be a way to make more housing available in less time. I think the sky's the limit when it comes to this technology because um, as universities already thinking about what is the next application and that could be um, printing modules that go into high-rise buildings and doing that a lot faster. Um, right now it takes us uh, somewhere eight to 18 months to build um, 30 to 40 units of housing in one contiguous building. Uh, but this technology in a couple of years could cut that down to a matter of, of weeks. The goal for this first neighborhood is to create nine 3D printed homes. The homes will be made in phases over four years. Project leaders haven't finalized a location for the neighborhood yet, but it'll be somewhere in Bangor based on the city's needs. Sam Olson, New Center, Maine.